morning. So I arrive at Cincinnati, Ohio Airport, and I get off the, the airplane. I go to where it says where the, uh, the shuttle buses are. So I get on the shuttle bus, and I hear, there was other people in there with me, and I hear the man on the set, he, he says something about being in Kentucky. <laughs> and I'm sitting there, I'm going, okay, something's not right. I knew that I booked a flight to Cincinnati. And I knew that they said I was going to Cincinnati. But when I landed, they were talking about being in Kentucky. <laughs> True story. So there was, a, there was a guy next to me and I said, sir, I hate to bother you, but are we in Kentucky? He said, yeah, we're in Kentucky. Talk to me like an idiot or something. I was an idiot. Don't you know we're in Kentucky? Well, so I'm running this bus trying to play it cool, right? And I'm thinking, okay, I'm not going to be the only idiot to step up here and say, sir, I, I think I got in the wrong plane. You know, I thought I was going to Cincinnati, but I ended up in Kentucky. Well, so I ride all the way to where the hotel drops off, and he pulls up to the hotel. I don't remember what the hotel name was, but it was the hotel name that I was supposed to be staying in. And honestly, I was kind of uh, concerned about getting off. I was afraid if I got off, I'd be in the wrong state at the wrong hotel. And I had no way to get, I didn't know where I was, right? So I waited on everybody to get out and act like I was kind of playing with my bag. I had a carry-on. And I, I wanted to be the last one. And so I get to the door and I said, sir, um, real quick question, is this the hotel? And I, and I pulled out my, my phone to check the address. And he said, yes it is. And I said, well, sir, I, I, I don't mean to bug you, but... You said a second ago, I know it happens all the time that you might have made a mistake, we're in Kentucky. He said, well, yeah, we're in Kentucky. And I'm just puzzled, I'm standing there, it's not clicking with me yet. But I finally figured it out after talking to him about it 60 seconds more. And he looked at me like I was from Mars, I'm not kidding you. And I thought I was for a second. Because the Cincinnati airport is in Kentucky. <laughs> True, I've been there before. Yeah, you know, and you find you end up in Kentucky, right on the line. And I'm thinking, something's not right, but I was just concerned enough, I thought I had gotten on the wrong place. <laughs> and they always make that joke. You know, if you're going to, uh, this plane is going to Chicago, if you're on the wrong plane, it's a good time to get off. <laughs> you know, I heard that before, it's really funny, but I thought I was that guy. I, I got on the wrong plane, man. That's not cool. And I was thinking about that as, as this afternoon, and I thought, you know, wouldn't it be something if we really... Has anybody had that happen and go to the wrong place before? Anybody had that happen? You have. Where'd you go? I was a child. We came to Orlando on vacation. Uh -huh. We were supposed to go to an east side of Orlando Hotel. They took us to the west side of Orlando. And my mother was freaking out because she didn't know what to do. Yeah, and once you got there, it's like, you're lost. See, you're lost when you get somewhere you don't know where you're going. It's like, oh, this is not good. And I was thinking about that today, and I thought, man, you know, how many of us have, if we were driving in a car, have we ended up on the wrong road? Yeah. Ended up somewhere, in, I've done that before, be daydreaming, ended up in some town, I think, how did I get here? What happened? You know, you just showed up. And you, you, try to make the best, you try to play it cool like you actually meant to go that way, you know, but that you got lost. You took the wrong turn. And you're on the wrong road all the time. You know, and a lot of times people go through life like that. They, they go down these roads, these paths, these, these directions, these flights, if you will, through life. And they find out at the end they're in a place where they never thought they would be. All of us do that many times. We find out, that, you know, we're going from here to here. And we don't take inventory. If you're driving from here to Orlando, there's landmarks along the way, right? Oh, yeah. You know if you're on the right road by the landmarks you see. Yes. And the landmarks don't add up. You're going to turn around and find out where you are. Right. But a lot of people don't pay attention to the landmarks. They don't. They end up going down that road where Orlando should be, or in my case, Cincinnati should be, and it wasn't there. Or in my sister's case, where East Orlando should be, and she went to West Orlando. You see, we all do this. We all go on these paths. We don't stop and pay attention where we are. And that's exactly what the devil and the world wants you to do. Amen. They want you to get on a road, keep on going, and not paying attention. Amen. And they don't want you to have any resistance whatsoever. I brought my Bible tonight. It talks about this very thing. 